hello my beautiful people thank you so much for clicking on this video my name is charlotte and you are watching all hands on with charlotte so this video i'm gonna be showing you how i cook spinach and what's interesting about this video today i'm gonna be cooking my spinach with some red oil for most of my family, especially my African family that know potato grains, spinach is like a substitute to potato grains. I mean, some people might say, oh, you can't compare or whatever, but yes, I'm telling you now, spinach is like a substitute to potato grains. And sometimes you want to cook potato grains and you don't have it listen get some spinach it does the job so today i'm gonna be showing you how you can make that possible if you want to learn if you want to know what i'm talking about please stick around and watch this video to the end before we even get into the video guys thank you for my new subscribers and thank you for my continuous viewers all right i really do appreciate you guys Please go out here and keep watching the videos. Leave me your likes and comments. I love to hear from you. And I guess you would like some response from me. Let's communicate. Leave me some comments. And please share my video. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Share it with your friend, friend, your cousin, your neighbors. The list goes on. But please subscribe to my channel. And please watch the videos to the end. Support your girl. Okay, that's important. Support. So let me stop the talking. Let's get right into the video. Enjoy and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye. <music> To start up, I'm going to start seasoning up my meat and I'm going to boil my meat. So I'm starting with some chopped onions. And that's Maggi Q. I always use one Maggi Q from the beginning then I can put a second or a third one later. So here I'm adding some salt. And I have some black pepper. So guys, this is another option for Maggi Cube, just in case you don't have it. So I'm putting in one tablespoon. And here I'm adding my pepper. Guys, this is going to be super spicy, okay? Super spicy. So just go ahead and, and stir that up a little bit and cover the pot and let the meat cook. Right here I have four bunches of spinach. You can get spinach from any grocery market. Alright. So what I'm going to be doing right now is cutting that, like I said, it's just like potato grains. So I'm going to be cutting it just like potato grains, like slicing it or whatever. Yep. So hold that. I'm going to hold one bunch. That's what my hand can fold. <laughs> and I'm going to rinse that up. Then all I have to do now is slice my grains in the bowl. So guys, if this option is not for you, you can just go ahead and lay out your spinach on the curtain board and go ahead and cut it on the board, okay? The African in me had to do it this way. <laughs> So right here for this um, recipe size, 
the size that you're gonna slice your greens it really don't matter i'm gonna i'm actually gonna be slicing it bigger than i'm doing the stem i just did the stem um a little smaller but when i get to the leaves it's gonna be a bigger one like african people would say lapa <laughs> yes i'm gonna cut lapa at the end so like i said guys cut that greens and you're good to go so if you can see the spinach you know what i mean when i said spinach is like a substitute to put to the grain because trust me they look the same and they taste slightly the same when you cook it like an african girl okay <laughs> so right here i'm just gonna be putting a half teaspoon of of soda and when you put the soda just leave it out to sit while you take care of the other stuff so here i have my meat it's already boiled i'm taking out the crabs i'm taking out the crab yeah So the purpose of taking out the crab when you do, when you cooking seafood you don't want it to be overboiled. Like I'm still gonna boil the other meat in the pot a little bit more, so I'm removing the crab, and I'm not even gonna put that crab back until I'm putting I'm ready to put my oil in the soup. So guys, I'm done with that, but let me show you a little thing here. If you're somebody that suffers from bloating, I just learned a new thing and I want you to try it. So all I'm doing here is putting some hot water in a, in a cup and I'm adding some ginger. I have ginger blend, so I just shrink the juice out of it and I'm putting all that is just going to equal to one teaspoon. And I'm going to pour one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and then i'm going to be doing the same thing adding one teaspoon or you can put more if you like it sweet of honey this helps with bloating i know a lot of people already know this but guys go ahead and make it a routine like do it religiously it's very helpful for bloating you ever eat something like eat little thing and you feel like you just ate the whole word that's how you know you're bloated like seriously bloated so make this a habit one um cup in the morning and one cup in the night that's what i do for now and it really helps it helps your digestive system very well like i eat now and i don't even feel so full so thank you continue so here i am already done boiling my meat i'm just gonna go ahead now and add my spinach so guys you see the size of that spinach <laughs> i told you i'll be cutting lapa at the end yeah so Put the spinach in as actually i'm getting to love spinach even more than potato grains so if you're somebody who you don't live around african store or you just can't help how african stores sell african food so expensive you can buy potato grain but you can also buy spinach and mix it to get you know more to make your soup more if you want or you can just get spinach it still does the job so cover that up and let it boil so this is it so i already boiled my spinach i'm just gonna go out here and stir it in with the meat so guys fun fact one time i watched tiktok video and somebody put like a whole bunch of 
spinach in the in a cooking pan and then ended up with one leaf in the pot <laughs> like it was so funny that's exactly how spinach behave so right now i'm done cooking my spinach i added i think one and a half more maggi cube so it was just enough for my taste so now i'm putting in my crab back in there because i'm going to start putting in the red oil so guys this is red oil you can get it from african market tropical market i'm not sure about edn chinese store i'm not sure but i know definitely you get it in the african market okay so go ahead and put some oil in there you don't have to put everything at once you can put some stir it up make sure you when you know that the oil is enough for the soup yes then that's enough or if you want more you can go ahead and add more oil i definitely went ahead and added a little more oil because as you can see there in the middle my grains are still white so yes so after i add the oil i let it boil a little more and this is my spinach so i'm just gonna put some put it on some rice guys this is the basmati rice i love it you should try it <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate you guys i'm getting somewhere with youtube so thank you please like this video please leave me comments and please subscribe to my channel all right don't just watch me okay subscribe like the video leave me comment i promise you i will answer to every comment that you guys leave for me so guys look at this and tell me it doesn't look like potato grain in which till you taste it so let me just tell you a little secret go ahead and add a little bit of soda in that thing and you're good okay thank you guys